to do better in your life so if you are dealing with something that you've done bad and you want to be better and you don't want to be that person anymore or you have something that you want to do but you don't know where to focus and if you already been doing things and manifesting things and you want to even manifest even greater things or you want to be in the right path in the right track so how to do that and we're going to get messages from spirit today on how to do better how to be better and what energy you should fix in your life all of that in this reading one two three four and five choose a bio remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want a personal reading you can email me for a personal reason my email is right here just send me an email i'm gonna send you a baseball request and that's it and you can go ahead and check my other channels chill with ella i'm gonna post later on in the future a lot of things i have a lot of ideas and ella nude in music okay so let's start this reading one two three four five you know it what time is it my coffee time let me drink my coffee while he's choosing the bio mm -hmm. and i'm gonna be using charms i hope i remember I've done some charms that I got. Number one, what energy you should fix? I feel like you should fix the lacking energy. You will lack things. You have an energy of lacking or having things and they, you're going to lose them. Even if you like totally feel like you're trying to be positive, but you do have that fear that you still didn't heal, that you feel like you're going to lose something or it's something that's going to happen. Even though you're happy, I feel it could be like subconsciously or you feel it all the time, but you don't want to acknowledge it, but you acknowledge it for some of you and you don't know how to heal it. It's like you feel like you're haunted by bad energy like even if you feel happy with something you feel like something may go wrong or will go wrong eventually or will change to something bad and you're gonna cry about it and you're gonna be sad or you're gonna be destroyed by something or something bad gonna happen even though you try to be positive somehow you're haunted by this energy something about it is just very haunting to you it's like haunted by this feeling that's why I like things like if you didn't heal things that trigger you they it can be there and you don't know how to get rid of them okay this is the thing I feel like you get triggered when Whenever you feel happy, I feel like you, you, go, you get triggered, you have triggers. We're going to get back to the triggers later on. But I want to tell you like what's going on in your life. I'm going to get to how you need to fix them. I feel like uh, you've been sexually abused, yeah, for some of you here. I'm hearing that. Or someone sexually abused you or something about sex in general. So it could be like gender, sex, nationality. You could be in, uh, from a mixed race or you could have like a mixed parents. One parents of you, like one parents is mixed. Something about sex, gender, it could be like uh, you were discriminated because of your gender, something like that, of your sexuality, of your, if your color, something like that, of like the physical appearance or physically, like you were physically kind of abused by your appearance, like verbally or physically also for some of you I'm hearing here. So this is what happened. So if you wonder why you're lingering to that feeling of like rejecting everything good, it's not like you want to reject those good things, but it feels so awful overwhelming like you can feel like with the happiness comes pain you feel like even if you're happy or you're in love or something like that you feel that pain that you don't want to feel so you rather be alone in your comfort zone and not do not have it you don't want to have those things the thing is like maybe you don't realize that you're doing that it's like you tell yourself bad things about those things or maybe like no i'm stronger by myself i'm focusing on things i have better things to do why would i get someone with bad energy why would i get someone with bad attitude in my life why would i get something with that kind of energy why would i drag it i feel like you you notice a lot of negative things you be so critical on things when they're not bringing you bad energy you're just not you're just triggered by little things that happen within those good things so you tell yourself like oh this person showed me some kind of red flag but at least not a red flag it could be just a, a fight but you're not up to fighting with this person or to with anybody about things you're not up to the stress because you do not want anything to disturb your beast and you feel like even though that it makes you happy and you want it you reject it okay so let's see here i feel like something about your generation here 
regeneration but it's something i'm hearing regeneration it could be like a curse that you have literally from a bad life like you had a bad life i'm hearing like in this life and also in the past life or you had bad childhood or some trauma that is lingering so it feels so 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 deep so the things that happen to you could be like little but they are deep rooted in your soul from a long time so if you've been through something it feels intense because it's been intense in the past life and it happened again or something like that and this karma like right now is for you to heal it and to have a way to heal it and not to have it lingering with you in this lifetime so sometimes you know like when you meet a soulmate and you feel intensely to that soulmate and you love that person so much because you have a past life connection so is vain people so is vain so sometimes something happened to you and you feel so intense about it because it happened to you a billion times in every life and every life you have a problem with letting go of it okay so this is the thing i'm seeing here for you let's see what you need to do to do better i'm gonna drink more coffee nothing per se nothing nothing you need to do nothing about it you need to let it flow you need to let it go you need to let things come to you your way you need to accept things you know you need to open the door for things to come you need to not shut them down you need to not reject them you need to let them come in even if it feels like overwhelming i feel like you're like you're like you're scared like that overwhelming just let it let it be let it come even if it's not comfortable let it come later on with life this things that you open in the door for those things and opportunity that you feel like they might be stressful for you or this person that is too stressful to you and you think that you they fight in or this thing if you let it in you're gonna be healed you're gonna be healed by this pain and gonna go away but you need to open the door for the things that you don't want to let in you know it's like your comfort is a delusion your comfort is not a comfort without letting those stressful things as you call them in let them in your life okay that's what I feel. I feel like you could know that an Aries here. I feel like you could know an Aries or you could know someone very kind of detrim detriment or just someone very like focused on you. Someone that just very like, you know, like an Aries kind of energy. Like they're just ready to do things. They're ready to fight. They're ready to burst your bubble. And you every time like you're just mad, you want to protect your bubble. You know, if this person came closer to you, they're going to burst your bubble. You know, this person is not going to hesitate. The moment that they have a chance to come near you, they're going to pop this bottle up. Like, you feel like they're going to do th They're gonna do that. So you're protecting yourself from this person because you subconsciously or in a way, you know that this person going to do that. This person have an uh, Aries energy or they could have an Aries in the chart or a fire sign. That's what I'm sensing here. What you need to do, as I said, you need to open doors and you need to let go of the past. Let's see the charms. People have done charms. I want to do more. And I want, I want to have done more. Like I'm gonna do even more, like put them in here. And I wanna do more charms, like really kind of like weird charms. I'm putting like things here and maybe ship it to some people, some of you there, okay? Later on, let's just see charms we need to do. Oh, we got those charms for you, number one. Okay. Listen to your intuition that I'm getting here listen to your intuition you need to listen to your intuition you need to trust your intuition not that trigger feeling i feel like you do have a strong intuition i feel like number one you are a very strong intuitive person you do understand spirit you do feel them but you block them most of the time because you go back in the question you go back in something and you overthink it so you don't know the answer because you overthink it and you kind of block your intuition i feel like that there's happiness coming towards you you need to let it in there's a lot of happiness coming towards you you need to let it in i feel like that you need to let it in or otherwise you're gonna suffer with more pain if you don't let those things come in or this person come in you're gonna suffer with jealousy pain regret and you're gonna watch this person they're gonna have more pain in your life so if you if you let this person in and you feel like you're gonna be so scared that this person's gonna bring you pain or stress then no they're gonna heal you but if you let them and do not accept that change or if you didn't accept that person or that thing coming towards you or change i've seen a lot of change you don't want to change that situation then you're gonna get in a lot of pain because you're gonna regret and you're gonna live with regret okay that's what i'm seeing here for you i do i do feel like there's an idea i feel like you hold him back because you feel like this person is very aggressive but you do love it in a way but you need to as per saying you need to think or oh, this thing you feel like is very aggressive on you if it's not a person if it's a situation you feel like the situation is very aggressive on you or it's like uh, you feel like it's kind of like rough 
even if it's like a job if it's something you feel like it's gonna bring you a lot of rough energy or it's just rough it's out of your comfort zone but you'll somehow very love it i feel this person put the positive things of this thing so look at this person or that thing and tell yourself what you love about this person what you really want or what you love about the thing what you really want to let in your life do not be stagnant let things go with the flow otherwise you're gonna regret it's like this person things are about to turn around i'm saying like this person gonna stop by a stop sign or something literally for some of you it could be a stop sign in your country that you know there's like near the stop sign there's like a dunkin donut i don't know how dunkin donut this is in berlin actually some of you could be in Berlin, or some of you could be in a big city or something like that, or in NYC or something like that. There's a restaurant or something like that. You might meet that person there or something like that outside or in a club, but there's like a, a, a fire marshal. I'm hearing sound or something like that outside or marshal. Something about it. You might meet this person, but if you chose to let this person pass you and go and ignore this person, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Okay? So I'm seeing here for you, number one. Let's go to number two. Number two. What you need to do to be better or to change this energy or something like that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to drink my coffee. This is good. Yeah, I've done too much. You've done too much. I've done too much good things with Sandy. Your cuteness. Yeah, adorable, you're cute, you're done, you work on your shit. You haven't worked on any shit all your life. You're the kind of person you're like, oh my god, I've done shit, me, oh my god. Let me apologize to this person. I've done it, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna be better. You're the kind of person who like, you love yourself, you don't hate yourself, you don't tell yourself like stupid me or something like that. You tell yourself, I love me, uh, me, you know, like, we need to fix that. I've done something wrong, I need to fix it. I love myself but i need to fix it i need to fix what i broke and i feel like you've done this since your childhood like when you do something bad and you realize it's, it's bad and you don't want to be like your parents i'm hearing for some of you could be have an abusive parents or a friend you don't want to be like that and you saw whatever you've done damage if you made someone cry you go and be like oh i do realize that i done something bad i do have to do something about it even if i don't feel comfortable this is the right thing this is what i need to do to fix it I should not behave this certain way. And then you go fix your behavior and you apologize and you make it right with yourself and you're proud of yourself. It's pretty proud of you for doing that. For the majority of you, you're doing that. But however, I'm hearing you from Spirit that some of you, you're still not in this energy, but you're going to be in this energy. You still didn't do. Some of you, I'm hearing you still didn't do that proud of yourself kind of energy. You need to do it. If you didn't do it, you need to do it. This is what you need to do to be better. Some of you, because of general reading, this energy is like, you're going to be like in this energy if you've done this. So if you know that you haven't done that, and if you know that you've done something bad for someone, you need to go and apologize. You need to fix it. You need to do your to do better. You tell yourself like, no, I'm not going to be like that. I've seen the damage that I've done and maybe i didn't realize it i thought it's not a big deal i know it's a big deal and i'm not gonna be that person i'm gonna go apologize and fix it i'm gonna do better for myself and for everybody okay is what i see here majority of you done that let's see what you need to do to be better you need to have faith in love i feel like you don't have faith in love like if you want to be better focus on love and energy you need to have more faith in love this is like your energy that you need to focus on it's almost like the highlight of your life purpose right now it's like whatever purpose is going to come, you have a lot of purposes in your life I feel. But this is the highlight for you. You're meant to understand love. You're meant to have love. And you're meant to understand it. You're meant to not block it. You're meant to not have... You don't, you're meant to not have a false image of love and be stuck with karmic or be stuck with people who take advantage of you or abuse you and give you nothing just based on need. You're meant to understand true love in this lifetime. So have a lot of faith in love. Expand your love be romantic be whoever you want scream i love you if you had to be that person you deserve love you deserve love in this lifetime and you're gonna have that love if you put faith into it like you need to manifest you need to be dreamy a little bit about it you need to manifest it even if you don't have that special someone you need to imagine having love you need to manifest it you need to have faith in love you need to dream it because i feel like maybe for some of you you're if you already know that but maybe you had a childhood or something like someone told you that you don't deserve love somehow subconsciously 
or even though you knew that you deserve love you didn't know what love is so you did not know if it's normal or not or you didn't know how to fall in love you thought it's too much you thought it's too romantic even though you fall in love you didn't totally fall in love it allowed yourself to fall in love or even have the opportunity of having good people around you so you need to dream about the good love good people people who like admire you not make it hard for you not like take your love or you being vulnerable with them like as a weakness or something like that you need to have that in your life time huh? super saiyan enough focusing on a career and finance for right now you're doing great so do not be obsessing about it or expanding for right now you could expand later on in the future but for right now there's more important things that you need to do like focusing on your health your diet working out or something like that so you don't get any diseases or you get in shape for something so we're trying to get you in shape or it, for you to feel better about yourself i feel like you might want it like because maybe you got a little bit chubby or you wanted that to feel confident it's almost like for you to be confident i feel like you feel great and you look great but it's like for you to be in that confident energy spirit need you to be in that confident energy so feel yourself do things that you do feel yourself feel your body like do things that you feel yourself you know like to be confident with your body because there's things that you need to be in that energy because there's things coming towards you soon i feel sooner than you expected i feel about like before the end of the year around september or something like that things may change in your life or things gonna happen or you might meet someone that you love or just even a friend or a friendship like that you might meet let's see what spirit wants you also to change or focus on you need to speak your mind about people who hurt you you need to open up and say whatever on your chest to someone you need to speak things that you didn't speak before at least to people who you trust if you don't want to speak it to those people who hurt you at least, at least speak it to someone that you love this is the thing about love like you never had someone that you can totally trust even though you had friendship or something to speak everything every detail that something made you feel you, you felt something is wrong you could have be a very intuitive person and if you are a very intuitive person and then you just felt like you're not comfortable with speaking something you felt like they might use it later on something intuition told you something about those people like you don't want to speak exactly your feeling in the moment about something or something like that that happened you felt like you're not feeling comfortable about speaking truth about your feelings are you going to have that in the future i feel like you didn't have that so this is what you need to focus on because you didn't have that so maybe just practice doing that with yourself like write it in a journal talk it talk it out with yourself talk it to someone that you trust talk it out to a therapist or something like that because you never had that maybe other people had that but you didn't have that like you have a lot of things that you don't you have feelings of them but you didn't get the chance to let it out and tell someone about those things that happened to you and affected you okay and spirit are trying to push you to do that to heal things within yourself to be to get that dark energy out and also it's like to be yourself it's almost like you have a lot of strength like in order to be who you are to be strength and figure out to have that strength and figure out yourself you need to speak about those things that little things that there's stories that you didn't mention to anybody or you mentioned to some people and maybe those people they didn't they brush you out like growing up but they didn't hear you and you have a lot of pain into them and you want to express also it could be just pain or you want to express your emotion or you want to express the story you just simply want to tell your story to someone and those kind of things are gonna like while you're saying those stories it's gonna make you figure out a lot of things about yourself and have more strength with yourself so yeah speaking your truth speaking your stories are gonna give you more more strength so even if you have a channel or something like that you could boast the stories or something like that but like it could be a role model to some people or something like that yeah pursue some something about pursuing things that gonna heal other people as well so i feel like you really have a power to comfort other people with your experience or the way just the way you are or the way you do things so if you have a job like that really help people so keep doing that okay let's see what else you need to do to be better stop there's some kind of stop the mental abuse you have a lot of thought and sometimes you tend to overthink things to make yourself stressful and you'll be stressful and a stressful energy let's use the charms my charms you. they're allowed huh whoa we got a lot of charms for you okay so i'm getting here there's a lingerie sexy lingerie so this is a victoria secret things as we spoke about confident and be confident with yourself and your body 
and uh, I'm here for some of you per se and uh, this is a message for you that you might have a lot of romance or a lot of love with someone you might have a baby in the future or something like that while you want wearing something a bit confident or something like that while wearing some lingerie or sexy things or this person gonna find you sexy and you're gonna have sex with this person for some of you i'm hearing like something about love you need to have this is like because it's like there and number one i had like a message for you what to do to be better and here's where i'm trying to tell you messages about other things that are gonna happen instead of that because those things are gonna make you better and gonna make you have more faith so you need to have more faith and love this is what i'm seeing here i was per saying you need to focus more on your phone or there's something on your phone or something like you need to focus on and be like more talkative to that person it could be like you met someone and you're talking to online or something like that or there's some more expression or more boasting of you or something like to be more like free on social media or something like that okay you need to boast more or something like that i do feel like we're saying do not worry about like try to focus on yourself even though they told you to be more positive about love like be more positive about love but if you have someone that been neglecting you not giving you kind of emotion or things like that try to not focus on them as much right now just focus on yourself focus on feeling yourself focus on not blocking yourself and your emotion just let yourself dream let yourself be happy let yourself have that romance at least like kind of dreamy thing that you've never done and for some of you you've never done that you never literally done that you'll be not the kind of person or something like that to talk about you your emotion maybe you talk about your emotion but you didn't talk about like oh my dream is that or my dream is have that romantic thing let yourself dream and fantasize about that and also let yourself just be happy as per saying be happy enjoy things around you do not stress much or something like that okay i do feel like that but like there's a man come towards you or a woman this person is it looks very formal or this person look very rough and like like from their physical appearance or from the way they talk to you they sh could be very sharp or they talked very sharp to you or they could be very harsh with you but they have a gentle heart and they love you this person very jealous right now or there's someone who's very jealous right now and they want to be near you and also you have friends that they're very jealous and they want to be near you so be aware of those friends i feel like you are protected and you know that but be aware of those friends who want to come back around when things are better i feel like things gonna get better when you're happy and those people gonna try to come back around so be aware of them do not let them in i feel like maybe before you were like trying to be friendly with them because you didn't know what real love is even if you knew it was not important for you to have friends or not because even if you had friends and you called them best friend or you had family member at the end of the day this is where you've been taught the grown up or something like that about your friendship that you didn't speak about deeper things nobody spoke about that or at least you you didn't trust it so you felt they had a false image kind of growing up that this is it this is it no, there's nothing more like you you would have friends but you would keep things to yourself or you something like that but something about like you're gonna have something true things going on here you could have someone or some people that really love you do not let those people from the past come around okay i do feel like that i feel like three months from now or three years from now something significant gonna significant gonna happen for some of you i'm um, you're in like on the third month of the year something significant gonna happen or the number three is very significant for you also you might have three kids in the future this is a random but it's what i heard let's go to number three right now So number three, what you need to do to be better, number three. First things first, number three, you need to stop being a narcissist because you are a narcissist. You need to accept that you have some kind of narcissism and you need to research narcissism. And uh, at least like this is for yourself. Nobody can gonna watch it. Nobody gonna see you doing that. Just watch like how do you, how should you know that you are a narcissist? Narcissism, the reason of narcissism. Narcissism, it is a disease. Like it is some kind of disease, you know, psychological disease or something like that. So you need psychological disease, yeah, something like that. So you need to research the symptoms of it. You need to research the reason why am I narcissist? Why narcissism happened? What what kind of weakness that I sh that I have that made me feel like I do not want to accept any more things that are gonna make me more weak? Why do I feel more weak within myself? Why I don't feel loved with myself? to myself why do i do that you need to understand yourself more you need to understand at one point you were a loving person i feel like you need to connect to that self like you were you sabotaging yourself you were you sabotaging your nature of having that maturity of emotion like you, you're supposed to be that 
human that is very matured emotionally you have a lot of emotion you are very sensitive like you were growing up very sensitive you understand emotion you were like not more like logical more like fiery you were like more like sensitive you're more like sensitive to energies you could be sensitive to people feelings more than the people thought like you know there's a lot of psychic and we all understand feelings and understand everything and stuff like that but you were like more focusing on people feelings and their thought and what they want and their intention you're like more focused and growing up like as a kid i'm seeing you're like focusing on their feelings what do they feel what do they feel toward you what do they feel to other people you are focused more on their feelings and you didn't ask the right question. I was like, why do they feel this way? Is it important? Is it not important that they feel this way toward me? Is it abusive? Is it not abusive? What do they think? What spirit thinks? You were just focusing so much on the feelings that some of those feelings were like wrapped on you to make you feel weak somehow subconsciously. Could even not realize that, but it could be like a very psychic person and even though that you didn't have an explanation in your head or something like that for it. I don't know what was that. For it. It's just something that was stuck lingering with you. You kind of feel it, but you don't understand how you feel. You feel attacked emotionally from other people around you. And you could just have that intuition with you. It could be very psychic. So you need to not block yourself by having a bad habit as being a narcissist or having that narcissism that you created in a way to protect yourself, to attack people, to get what you want, to be in control of situations that you don't feel control of. You, you felt like you have the need to attack people before being attacked, even though that those people didn't attack you by feelings that they give you and those kind of feelings stimulate in some kind of feeling you felt growing up or something. It could be even love, but you mix it up with feeling other than that and you keep attacking people even that they, they love you or something like that. You keep attacking people that you feel kind of similarity to you. If you feel like people having some kind of maturity and emotion or having pure emotion towards you, kind of attack people that they have some kind of traits that you're supposed to have. This is the thing, like you cut, cause like somehow in your intuition you want to be like that, and you know you're supposed to be like that, but you attack those people. You attack those people because you know that you're supposed to be like that, and you don't know how to be like that, and it's kind of like overwhelming to your brain, and maybe it's too hard for you to understand it right now, but subconsciously you want to be like that, and you don't understand why you cannot be like that. And at one point, you somehow something within yourself you hate yourself for letting yourself be not like that. And you know by wanting to be like those kind of people that you're supposed to be like that and you always wanted to be like that, you need to face a lot of things that you done wrong or you said wrong to yourself, they are wrong. You need to go back and fix those things. So this is reality speaking. If you want to do better, you need to stop being a narcissist, okay? You need to cleanse your soul from those bad things, bad karma, bad habit, bad energy that you manifest and hurting other people, doing bad things. You need to do good deeds. You need to do good deeds and you need to understand more likely not just by doing good deeds you're gonna get good but you need to understand it's like i have some people like they are like could be a narcissist and they're doing a lot of bad things and instead of like fixing those things they go like give some clothes and some food to the homeless they're not gonna fix this habit you still have that karma lingering you still have that you know you need to clarify yourself you need to understand yourself you need to understand you need to sit with yourself in a loving way not attacking way most of the time narcissists are very attacking like to themselves they're very attacking to themselves that's why they're very weak with themselves because the way you talk to yourself is very important the self the word that you say to yourself it could be it could be not big for you like as like i hate myself or this is wrong i hate myself for doing that those words have a deeper effect on you okay so you need to love yourself. You need to sit with yourself and tell yourself, okay, I love myself so much that I'm not going to let myself do that. What should I do? You need to sit with yourself like, I'm, what should I do? I'm going to fix this. I'm going to do better for myself. Okay? This is the thing I'm seeing here for you. Let's see what else you need to focus on. You're meant to help people with suicidal thoughts. You're meant to help people with depression. You're meant to help people. You are the kind of person who understand emotion. You are the kind of person who gonna be motivated and protecting people from their own self-destruction. So you, you're meant to be that person who help people from their own self-destruction, not the people who distract people, or not the people who destroy people, you know? You're meant to be the opposite. So you need to understand yourself what, at what point you, you stop being yourself, at what point you, you stop protecting yourself to be something not you are that's not who you are and what made you feel this way 
because you are that loving person. You are the kind of pure person who have a lot of emotion, a lot of care inside. You're very protective. You understand people pain. You understand when someone goes through something hard. You're gonna be there for them. And you're gonna be that person. So just have faith in yourself that you're gonna be that person. You're not gonna run away. You're not gonna shy away. You're not gonna attack people. You're not gonna feel weak about emotion. You're gonna be there even if those emotions are triggering you, remind you of something, of something bad that happened to you, or making you feel weak or some kind of way. You're not gonna attack people. You're gonna protect people because you are that kind of person. And you need to start to believe it. You need to start not attacking people. The same way that you felt attack not verbally by emotions i feel like you keep feeling attacked by emotion to the point where you attack people and you attack a very emotionally harsh on people okay let's see what else you need to do yeah you need to not block your intuition you need to be more connected to god to spirit to your intuition to spirit to everything you need to have that light energy you need to have faith you need to have that pure energy of once like once like the one time you had that energy from here like one time you had it there's like one time you had that energy you need to let it come back to you you need to have faith in yourself you need to start having faith to yourself okay there's something else here let's see motivate people tell them that they look good start there tell those people that they look good they tell them tell them something to motivate them to do better to lose weight i'm hearing around you motivate people around you be there practice empathy okay let's see the charms for you number three yeah i felt like this charm gonna come and it came here this one I do feel some kind of way. Let's see. So stop the silence. I'm hearing you stop the silent treatment. If you're giving someone silent treatment or you're trying some kind of way to make them feel some kind of way or you're bitter about things, try to realize why you're bitter and those things. But try also to not linger problems more than they are like try to be the bigger person from there like from one time to like the second time try to be the bigger person try to talk sometime if someone is angry try to be there do not be like you i feel like because you are that kind of narcissist in your life the moment that you love someone the moment that person done something wrong to you you use it more to abuse them rather than just work it on with them it's like it's like you don't even understand yourself but if something bad and they gave you something bad you use it against them it's like if they were like done something bad you don't be like hey you done something bad i'm mad at you and this person's shouting at you be like no i really want to work it with you you take that thing to even verbally abuse them or abuse them even more or to abuse them in a kind of way like ghost them to treat them bad put them in the cold you need to understand this is kind of like in a way that you are a narcissist as well because you like at the moment that you see people are wrong about something or they said something wrong to you you go far far and beyond instead of working out with them st instead of understanding their point of standing, instead of like talking out with them talking it with them and understanding because there's a point of like having a fight with your friend or someone you like and then there's something like you're still having a fight with your friend about something silly and then the next day something happened to your friend and their parents passed away and you need to be there for them but you're still gonna be holding back to that to abuse them far farther emotionally but you don't understand that you're emotionally abusive you do blame people emotion and so you want to be there and you like them but you want them to suffer somehow like this is like some kind of addiction of like letting people suffer emotionally and you don't understand why because you emotionally suffered a lot and you need to understand yourself okay i feel like there is like some something something in music so there's a lot of signs spirit been sending you through music they're trying to subconsciously talk to you to through your music if you are some someone into music if you write things if you like write lyrics if you do something if you listen to songs we're trying to communicate to you through songs through music also i'm hearing through instagram's music or reels like like the music there going on there is someone who's Arabic, your friend could be Arabic, this is my country. So it could be like your friend could be Arabic or something like that. I'm here and there. Um, here and also your friend can, uh, can I'm here and uh, it could be like uh, German because I just randomly 
want to speak German. This brand could be German or something about Germany. It could be like in Germany and Netherlands or those areas there or Switzerland or something like that. Something about your friend or something about you. Something about this friend wanted to visit you or someone wanted to visit something. This is like uh, it's per saying just go the far, like go far and beyond for this person or try to communicate to this person. This friend or like different nationality or you met in a city or you met in kind of town or your hometown or something like that. Could be like in a place where they have a lot of palm trees. We do have palm trees here or like it's Caribbean place or places where a lot of beach here or like California or something like that. This friend looks after something about like uh, it start to uh, people feel like a lot of shallow energy from you or they feel like you very superficial with them. So start to I feel this is the thing. You do have a lot of superficial people around you. This is the first thing I wanted to mention. Like you do have a lot of superficial friends. You need to be careful about that. By this energy, you kind of attracted a lot of superficial people that they don't emotionally trigger you that much. So you don't emotionally abuse them. So you feel at peace and you feel like a good person with them. But your intuition is blocked with them because they literally don't have good emotions or good feelings toward you. That's why you don't feel triggered. You understand what I'm saying? It's kind of your world is reversed. You feel triggered and you feel some kind of way toward the good people and the bad people you feel kind of comfortable with. This thing, because they don't have that kind of emotional triggers to you or they don't react to such a way to things that they do that you do. I feel like you received a phone call or a message. That phone call and message was a blessing or was a miracle. Maybe it was harsh for you or a message or a voice note or some kind of verbal kind of thing it could be a letter also that was some kind of like a letter also or something like that that was kind of harsh but it is a way from spirit like to warn you or to tell you something so if you received a letter that was harsh or a news or something verbally like now me saying this for some of you literally me saying this it is for you spirit i like meant this message meant to find you okay something around october gonna happen we are having faith on you so is your angels to be better to be back to who you are number four what to do to be better number four i feel like you need to focus on your health because your health is suffering this is the first thing like your diet is bad you are like prone to have diseases or chronic diseases when you grow up or something like that you could have like a family that eats or you were like not having the greatest kind of diet growing up and you don't know how to eat healthy you need to research how to eat healthy you need to cut the sugar intake the salt intake or something like that maybe instead of that you don't have to stop eating a lot of people think that they have to stop eating to be healthy you actually can eat more when you're healthy there's a thing that it's just if you, if you love food be healthy go to the gym work out because you're gonna eat more food Thing is like you're gonna just not use chemical things on it you're gonna use not sugar like you're not gonna use sugar you're gonna use like natural sugar natural syrups or you can use other things or you're gonna burn more or something like that or cut the salt like you just can't eat more like if you if you're gonna eat healthy okay you can eat a stick like every day or something like that well maybe not every day but you're gonna change it up like you're gonna eat a lot of food something about your diet try to pay attention to your diet a lot stop eating like literally some people like we have a bad diet you literally eat something greasy a day and that food is not the amount of food that you can eat when you're healthy you can eat more food than that and that food actually is making you feel bad or something like that or sick maybe you're eating like a, a three like sausages and they're not healthy sausages like just like from the frozen sausages and you just grill them in oil with some kind of grease and butter and things like that and you have something on the side and you can literally eat like a whole big ribeye steak with uh, like uh, fries sweet potato and like with broccoli and all of that inside of that meal you go on i should say and if it's like about budget money or something like that there's a lot of food that you can cook you can cook healthy without like having wasting a lot of money you can just buy vegetables raw things and cook them you can buy chicken or something like that it's actually cheaper to eat healthy but you just need to know how you need to know how there's i because i have a lot of friends like i 
I've been eating healthy all my life. Like I, even though I started to eat a lot of junk food with the COVID, there's a lot of friends like they started to eat healthy and they don't know. I've seen our friend like ordering from diet houses, like diet restaurants and stuff like that. And it's really expensive. And I was like, why? I'm like, literally, this is the thing that you can do. You can do that. You can get it from the grocery store. Or you can get that and that. You can eat more. And you just like practice, okay? That's what I'm seeing. is something about your health. You need to pay attention to your health. For some of you, you need to go to your checkup appointment or something like that you've been missing checkup appointment or if you know that you have something or you are you do have a condition some of you have maybe have some kind of mental illness like you might have you might might be bipolar you might be anything and you kind of in denial mood that you are like that or you need some kind of help or you have depression or something like that and you're in denial about it because you don't want to take medicine or you don't want to go to your checkup or something like that you do need to go to your checkup okay just push yourself and know that your spirit are with you. You're going to have a lot of loves for saying in the future. You're going to have some kind of support system later on. You're going to get used to it and you're going to understand. So if you feel like this is a rough journey for you, you're going to get through it. And you're going to feel like... Uh, you're gonna feel like you understand it later on it just might be confusing a little bit for some of you maybe started something and you feel like you're confused or something like that for some of you could be a pregnant and you just and you don't want to take that pregnancy test right now it's like you don't understand how to be better or maybe you just don't want to go to your checkup or you're confused about your pregnancy if some of you just gave birth and maybe your health is really bad i'm hearing because something about birth it could be going through like a, like you're just the first month of after giving birth you're depressed your hair is falling you have a lot of prolactin high in your blood and shit like that and you don't understand what's going on and you don't want to go to your checkup but you have something and you're just overwhelmed by a lot of things and you just don't want to go and deal with things or it could be pregnant and it's first baby and you don't know what's going on with your body and you feel bad and you feel sad and you don't know what to do you just need to you know watch some kind of tutorial about it if you have some other people ask for help if you don't have a support system or family system go to the hospital ask for help ask so many questions ask whatever question that you want ask for advice from other people ask them for advice say what do you have for me what do you think that i should do what did you do like just do not be afraid to ask questions okay that you need to ask to your doctor or to as many as many questions that you feel like gonna make you comfortable it's what i feel like what to do to be better it's like about the energy something about your health here popped up here from spirit i do feel like that you want to be happy you're going to go on a vacation soon there's like a coffee vacation or a vacation to a country that makes a lot of coffee or something about coffee coffee is very good we're saying maybe drink some coffee black coffee coffee is really good and coffee gonna be good for you something about coffee is really good for you i don't know it's random but i heard it coffee is really good here for you something about coffee so spirit are recommending coffee for you yeah for sure coffee here or tea but i'm more likely coffee okay I do feel like you're gonna get super saiyan, you're gonna be lucky in your life. Do not worry if you're worrying about your finance. I do spirit. It's like about what to do to be better, but spirit are trying to tell you about like you're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be comfortable later on in your life. So if you're worried about your comfort right now and you're not comfortable for a while, you've been not comfortable or struggling with things, you're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna have that comfort kind of like coming to your home, sweet home, not worrying about finance, having a loving family, having a loving house, or not worrying about stressing about like your health or anything, or not stressing about things that you need to do. You're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be comfortable literally. Some of you might just have money or work from home or something like that. Because you're all very comfortable. You're sleeping or you're just very comfy. I'm seeing you comfy in the future. There's some luck gonna come towards you, Spirit Saiyan. Just stay there, stay strong. You might have a lot of abundance of finance, or you might buy a lot of things that you really wanted. There's messages here about things that you really wanted. You might feel like you might have a baby or something like that for some of you, or you already are, you already are, as we said. But something about your baby gonna be like not growing growing up the way that you grow up. Up, so it's better it was like a, if you for some of you for like had a really rough upbringing your, your baby gonna have better life than you don't worry about it and for others of you if you're worrying about something in the future like if i had my baby what gonna happen am i gonna do that am i gonna be not a great mom great father or something like that gonna be great you're gonna be really good at it i think it's gonna be great okay i do feel like that let's see what you need to do to be a better person you need to talk more you need to talk more this is the thing like you need to talk more like to do to do better talk more to the people who like you and you like them you need to convert like make an honest conversation do not shy away from your feelings if you have someone on, on your mind and you feel like this person is like not talking to you or something 
honestly people just need like a hint of like your honesty and truth feelings like true true truth truthful feelings truthful feelings toward toward them so if they are mad at you all you need to say is exactly how you feel toward them or what you want to say toward them and that's it and that's it like if you have someone in your mind and this person is like you like this person literally if this person is mad at you and you feel like they're blocked you everywhere or something like that all you need to say is truly how you feel toward them truly how you feel toward them like just tell them how you feel toward them and that's it there's an honest conversation and this person gonna explain how, what they felt toward you and why they done the thing that they done and then you're gonna be good you just need to express some more honesty you know you don't shy from your feelings like if you feel like some kind of way towards someone just tell them or apologize or something like that i feel like you're already a loving person but you need to express it more uh, express your tro truth you're gonna get some kind of trophy 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 i'm like trophy trophy, trophy. trophy nuts Something about two peanut latte. You know, like that season of two peanut latte around Christmas. I feel like around Christmas you gonna be like you gonna be like change or you are gonna do something different around Christmas. Something about your style. You might cut your hair, shave your head, or cut something, or get a tattoo, get a piercing, or your body gonna change. Something about that season. Okay. What else? I'm saying something about you being like in some kind of sport. You might do a sport, or you might be a like talented in something that you don't know yet per se you literally don't know that you're talented at something that you might be in the future into like someone is going to introduce you to that thing and you're going to understand it you're going to do it and you want to be talented in it okay what per se there's more what yeah per se that person cried there's someone that you wonder if they cried and if they love you they did cry sometime like if you said something and you think that they were not affected by it or you feel like they don't care they do care and they cried they were like literally crying about it if you said something was so mean and they pretended that they're not hurt they they were so hurt if you pretended that you got someone else or you pretend they don't want them or something like that they were crying okay so if you think that they don't care they do care and they do have feelings and they got hurt by it so number four let's use the charm for you whoa number four is interesting we got those charms here so i feel like yeah don't leave yourself stuck because things are gonna be like even if you are like stuck right now do not leave yourself stuck in this kind of measure, measure, measure measurement so your measurement and measurement something miserable and measurement do not let yourself be stuck in this kind of situation like your health with your health that's the thing also i'm hearing from spirit your life gonna move really fast really fast like soon someone might visit you from a far land or a different land finland also something like that it might visit you from there it could be also from france but the person is visiting you from a red zone area so you know like with the covid they have like red zone area something like that or they're visiting you from a country that you don't know about you think it's dangerous something like that or very hot look at like very red and i said red and then i saw this like it's just very hot a very hot country i do feel like uh, you need to uh, you need to communicate more your emotion or send this person a letter or an email or something like that or a dm there's a letter or dm and or talking by texting okay you need to text this person i do feel that let's see what you what gonna happen soon i feel like uh some of your friend is really suicidal i want to say something different but i saw suicidal so i feel like you do have suicidal friends around you or others of you, you might be suicidal later on if you didn't fix this health like if you have the mental kind of illness or some kind of depression you might get into suicidal thoughts so fix that before you get into that suicidal thought you might get a baby boy soon or you might get pregnant or someone gonna get pregnant by you or something like that or you already have a baby boy as we spoke about like a kid here and this person gonna be successful gonna be happy person maybe a lot of people gonna be like this person gonna be a very happy lucky person this person this kid that you're gonna have is gonna be very lucky in life okay they're gonna be very lucky they're gonna have a lot of luck so if you're worrying about your kid your kid's gonna have a lot of luck i feel like maybe you're worrying or have a lot of anxiety about that kid i do feel like uh, something about anal sex if you had anal sex, are you gonna have anal sex? In the <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Something about anal sex. Are you gonna have anal sex with this person in the future? Something about anal sex or sex. Are you gonna experience more sexual things or feelings? So if your sex life is not good, your sex life gonna about to be juicy. Gonna be real good. Gonna be juicy. Something like that. 
Let me smell this perfume. I like, I didn't smell it. I have like some few of them. Yeah. This person could be very Arabic. But they do work. Like you might have a baby with someone who works a lot or they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. For some of you I heard Arabic. I don't know why. Because I smell like this perfume I have. I smell a lot at work. So you, yeah, this person may work a lot or they could be just a business person or something like that. Or they have something like that. So yeah, do not worry about it. They got you covered up and I feel like you're going to be also financially abundant. They're going to take care of this baby. So if you're worrying about this person, so this person going to have money for the baby to take care of. And also you're going to make your own money also. So do not worry about it. Number five. What? Yeah, number four. I was like, I heard it from Spirit. Like, Spirit, like, yeah, Spirit saying also, yeah, this, you might get on a vacation or go on a, a trip soon and you might fight with a parents or a family member, but do not give attention to it. I feel like you might not even pay attention to it. You just, if you're worrying about a fight that's gonna happen between your family member, or mother, or father, or something like that, you might even ignore it. It's not gonna be a big deal. You're gonna be shocked with yourself that you're not even not attentive to those kind of fights or arguments anymore number five what you need to do to be better i'm gonna drink my coffee people go to thai taiwan <laughs> go to taiwan i don't know why go to taiwan you need to travel more you need to explore other culture you need to be open-minded so for some of you i feel like you need to be open-minded you need to explore other cultures other religion or other things or you need to explore you know you need to explore things for saying you need to explore you need to you know those countries that you don't know anything about you need to go travel there you're gonna be good at like uh, some kind of like uh, traveling experience something vlogging about vacations doing things there there visiting other countries exploring nature exploring things you're good at socializing with people and you meant to meet a lot of people you could be a very old soul number five literally and as me also like i always feel like i just i feel like i'm very connected to everybody i don't feel like anybody's like a different religion different country i feel like i know people and like some way i always meet people that i know from a past life or something like that i feel connected and i feel like you feel like that you feel like earth is very small like you just want to go to other countries or something like that you meant to meet a lot of people in this lifetime from different nationalities something like that you have you are an old soul you have a lot of people from everywhere I feel like you, this is the thing from spirit spirit advising you encouraging you if you have this lingering feeling of like exploring other cultures other nationalities other languages other nationalities like countries that you've never been there you need to go there okay we're saying stop griefing also stop griefing if you want to be better stop griefing the pain the loss of our relationship the loss of a child the loss of uh, i heard like a big knee could be like you could be jamaican or someone here is like that so the loss of a child or something like that i feel like stop griefing about loss of a father or mother or someone like you lost stop grieving about that it could be like your father or mother or something like that i would like you tend to have to be very critical sometimes and you need to stop being critical or very harsh on yourself you need to stop that critical kind of mindset are you very harsh on yourself sometimes or harsh on other people or your kids if you have kids or your mother or father you're very critical you're almost like you don't even realize it because you there's like the thing like i talked to my cousin about about that it's like uh, some people like that especially virgos they don't mean to come uh, like across that there for some of them not all the virgos of course everybody's different and everybody like some like and like when you have the sun sign it's like you have a moon sign, a rising sign, everything. But sometimes some energies like be highlighted in a negative way. Like it's almost like you use your sun sign as a negative weapon that you don't know, you don't understand. So that's when the negative traits of a zodiac kind of come. But I feel like most of the time Virgos are like meant, they meant to say good things, but they come across to some people as very negative, but they're not negative at all. It's like they come as like uh, seeing everything like in a bad way, but actually they are meant to, to tell you that you've done it great, but there's something something that you need to do. They, they say it in a good way, but people take it in a bad way or they take it as an attack. It's like if you finish a project, then you have a Virgo friend who's gonna be like, they're not gonna be telling you, oh, whoa, the project is really great and everything is great, that's fine, you don't need to do anything. And they see a little bit of mistake there and they'll be like, yeah, don't worry about it. If we're gonna be like, oh, whoa, you didn't see that kind of mistake in the last paper that you've done. 
you need to fix it right now and they're gonna hate us for you but this friend is like wanted you to be perfect this is the thing i feel but i feel like you, you come across this way all the time to people maybe you don't realize or your kids or your family or something like that so you need to stop being focusing on negative energy also if you've been doing a lot of things about negative energy focusing on negative energies haters enemies uh, uh things like that i'm here on psychic something it could be like a psychic and you're trying to predict i know a lot of my subscribers are building their, building their own channels and i know like i just feel so proud when my subscribers are like and i know them for a long time and they're building their own channel and i just go check their readings and be like comment in there so yeah it could be just making your own channel but you're focusing way too much on the gossip on uh, the negative energy and your enemies and you're somehow kind of like always just looking on the negative things in life as well in a way but you don't seem like you don't understand that you come across this way and you need to understand that you have a lot of like wide variety varieties of people around you that you need to focus on good things as well even though that you want things to be perfect all the time but sometimes you come across like that as we explained the story in the beginning sometimes you come across to people that you only know in the negative things it's not like people are criticizing you or something like that but sometimes it's tiring when you have someone all the time pointing negative things it's like you need to mention also while you, you need to practice mentioning the good things while you mention the bad things together this is the thing you need to do to be better i feel like this is the negative things about you okay honestly like you need to focus on mentioning both sides of things not only the negative side of things okay you need to do good things good readings and negative readings together sometimes like that sometimes like that if you have kids if you have something like that tell them how great everything is sometimes just keep it to yourself that there's some tiny things negative say there's like a little bit here but it's it's not a big deal i think you're done perfect i think this is perfect i think your project is perfect even though there is a mistake i don't think it's a big deal you know just think like about the mistakes or the error that think about those negative energies are they a big deal should i talk about those negative energy are they a big deal or should i talk about all the positive slides that this person done the project or something like that in life should i focus on this tiny hateful energy or should i focus on the good shit happening around me all the time there's a thing you need to practice because you do have a tendency to notice that the glass kind of half empty kind of shit like when they say okay i feel like practice uh, growing your heart i feel like as you might think that your heart is totally matured your heart or your emotional not totally matured you're not emotionally matured as yet like you could be very adult in or everything but i feel like you do have a tendency to not understand emotion especially your own emotion and you're still growing i feel like you are growing you are in a growth kind of period of your emotion in a good way i don't feel like it's a negative thing i don't feel like you're growing in a bad way you're not mature like emotionally not mature like in a bad way but you are very small emotionally i'll say you are still there so i let let yourself to not be overwhelmed let yourself to feel things process feelings step by step i feel like you you want to jump a big step do not jump a big step i'm here from spirit you're trying to jump a big step and do not jump that big step like process feelings step by step even if those feelings are like you feel like you don't want to talk about like those kind of emotions like you might seem like you're a child or you don't understand emotion or you don't understand that you want to take someone else's advice or you feel like you don't want to ask someone else's advice about those things and you should understand it yourself it's okay if you don't understand it yourself it's okay that you don't understand those things yourself because you're still figuring it out those emotions and part of like being emotionally mature is like you having the time to process and understand it and ask about it to others and have a conversation about those feelings it doesn't make you feel stupid it doesn't make you look naive it doesn't make you look like that you just need that experience it could be like even in your past life you were like not that emotionally mature or you had you didn't have that experience in emotion something about emotion you're like you didn't have a lot of triggers a lot of let's say you could just had like a life that was there was like not a lot of obstacles that challenged you emotionally there's it could be like a lot of challenge emotionally in this life a little bit and it's part of your growth you could have just been stuck to karmic things and you didn't want to like notice them in the past life and you had you could have like a partner literally was abusive or just like was not was a karmic and just was your soulmate for a lot of life and you didn't want to grow and you didn't want to ask people or you did not want to you did not want to ask people something about it like you did not want to tell people what's going on 
what's going on in the relationship with you and that person and that's why you talk with that person because you do not want to ask people like am i am i naive for doing that i feel like my i feel like my person is taking advantage of me you don't want to say that you don't want to seem stupid it's fine to go talk it out with someone when you are like having your doubt this is part of like having different opinions when you have different opinions you you practice those different opinions and you have them within yourself and you'll be like thinking about those opinions and then you grow and you you make your own idea so it's fine to go and watch things or ask things or ask questions that you want to understand it's fine to do that to have different opinions i feel like this is why you are virgo in this lifetime this is the kind of challenge that you have every time like your sun sign is kind of the challenge or the key to your life purpose although the sun sign is a key to me for your life purpose i like spirit give you the sun sign to practice it to understand it and also kind of a key or the fire or the weapon that are gonna get you to your life purpose, okay? So the more you understand yourself, the more you get to your life purpose because you have that weapon. I always say like your sun sign is a weapon. So that's why when you meet some kind of like other like Virgos, they negative and some Virgos are positive. They understand that weapon. They understand how to use the energy to use themselves, like how to understand themselves totally, like, you know, like you do have your best life, you, ha you have clearly everything with you and everything like that, but it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to tell people what's going on, it's okay to tell people that you feel stupid sometimes, it's okay to tell your friend, like, maybe just not totally, like, I feel stupid, to tell them, like, I, I have that and that, and I think I'm happy, and to understand and to listen to other people's opinion when they're being critical to you, or they'd be like, that person's not good, because I do feel like it, you, it blocked your growth emotionally in past life by being stuck in things that you didn't want to talk to people because you thought you know better, even though like, you did not want to ask or take opinions from other people about a relationship, and you blocked yourself from your blessing or emotional good growth in your past life. So this is like kind of your challenge here. I feel like you had a lot of like you make a lot of decisions and those decisions bring you a lot of luck and sometimes you neglect that kind of aspect in your life like the emotional aspect and the growth in it so it's kind of like you just try to keep it there and you feel good about it and because you don't know it sounds like when you give a kid if a kid talk to a criminal the kid would not understand the criminal as a criminal because the criminal keep giving the kids ice cream and never kill the kid this is a thing and you you don't want to ask people you know it's wrong it's like they don't want to like the kid that is i i know it's bad but this is exactly the example it seems like so awful but exactly what's going on in your life i know it's bad but the kid is like knows that it's dangerous and it's bad like someone told them that but they don't want to tell other people because they don't care because the kid in their mind i don't care it feels good to me why would i tell them because i don't understand a kid would not understand why a person give them ice cream is a criminal they know that you told them that this person is a criminal i'm bad they're gonna do that they don't believe you they, even though you warn them they don't want to tell you because they don't believe you this is the thing about your growth you blocked it because you think that even though you know that other people told you it's bad and you know the symptoms and everything shows you it's bad you don't believe it because this person is still giving you ice cream this is the kind of thing example i'm getting here from spirit let's use the charms for you whoa yeah you're keeping yourself stagnant in a loop in a circle and kind of circus some human also in every lifetime with that emotional growth thingy and you're not getting thing out of the commitment like you keep yourself stuck in things that give you fake promises fake commitment you do have some shit to say and you want to say it so say the shit that you want to say to people but as i said keep in mind the positive and the negative try to mention like you do have a lot of shit to say about something but try to not always mention in the shit just think about the shit is it important to mention all the time should I keep it to myself and talk about the positive or should we like ignore it? Because some negative energy doesn't deserve a lot of attention. This is what I'm seeing here. This person saying you need to eat more food or to something about your weight to gain more weight to feel good or something like that. Maybe go to the gym, get more muscle or something like that. I feel from a spirit here. I do feel like you're going to get lucky soon. You're gonna have a lot of luck you're gonna get lucky and gonna be happy 
but things gonna go reverse i'm hearing something about reverse and look at the r here reverse i feel like something gonna go reverse it's almost like you're gonna go back to a place where you came from or a place where you were in but it gonna, things are gonna be different so things are gonna be go, going reverse it's almost like you had to go in a journey to some place a different place so you thought that you're gonna start your life somewhere else or you thought that you're going in a different direction in life but that direction was for you to understand something about your growth as first trying to emotionally make you grow emotionally and understand what you were stuck in a past life with and because of that that happened now and you you're trying to deal with it or for some of you once you do that because for some of you like you didn't do that to so do that you're going to go back to a place where you went where you one time you were there but with the knowledge it's almost like going to go back to point zero but with the knowledge it's almost like you're going to be going back to the same criminal if you're a kid or same place where you met the criminal and you be an adult and realizing what you've done realizing oh my god fuck you take your ice cream shove it down your mouth i know you're you're a bad pervert something like that something about your growth you're gonna understand so i feel like it's still totally not there that's the thing honestly i don't feel like you're still there you're not there totally 100 percent. but you need to focus more on that i feel like you need to speak more truth more of your truth more of your truth about your love life something about your love life your emotion more truth about emotion communicate emotion more truth about the good emotion that you felt but about emotion they felt something about speak the truth about the emotions per saying okay let's see what's going on here i feel like you have a child if you have a baby child like a girl here this girl feel very hurt by you or the way you talk to her or if you have a daughter or if you have a sister little sister she feel hurt by the way you communicate to her and maybe she did not say that but she feel like you don't understand the way you don't understand her so yeah thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe to my channel and look at those charms i'm gonna do more charms i'm gonna like add more like weird charms and things like that i wanted to like ship them later on i'm gonna think about to who and like send some people some charms that i'm gonna do and add like random weird things like there so kind of my style okay bye bye